First Peter chapter three, at least a few verses of it. That's our reading for, for this morning as we continue talking about marriage, our responsibilities in marriage, God's way uh, for marriage. Let's read just the first few verses. I want to make one simple point with you this morning, something to take with you, something to think about. First Peter three, verse one, in the same way, you wives be submissive to your own husbands so that even if any of them are disobedient to the word, they may be won without a word by the behavior of of their wives as they observe your chaste and respectful behavior. I want to just stop right there. I, I, I love this verse. I love this idea. I love this concept because I believe at the end of the day, the person that is going to have the most influence on you in your life is your spouse. That's why it's so important that we impress upon our young people the importance of marrying someone who loves and respects the Lord, who who sees God's word as 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 the uh, as the, as the truth, objective truth, the one who's willing to 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 give their lives to to the Lord's will. Just how important that is, just because of the influential nature of this relationship, just by way of proximity and time spent. And one of the things that as we consider this uh, just idea of influence, um, that one spouse could literally be won to the Lord through one's good example. You know, it's very possible that you're listening to this this morning and your spouse isn't what they ought to be. Now, none of us in, in one way are what we ought to be. We're all works in progress. We're all struggling. We're all sinners in desperate need of God's grace. There's no doubt about that. But it's possible maybe even that you're married to, to someone who's not a believer, who, who refuses to put God first in their life. And maybe it's not always been that way. Maybe it has always been that way. And I would just have you be reminded of what is said here. A lot of times, what did you do? What does a person do? Will, will you do this? You be the best Christian that you can be. You win him as a result of, of your behavior, not by berating just constantly saying things. Obviously, there's a time to talk. There's a time to communicate. But ultimately, you're going to win them by your behavior, by your life, proving to them that God's way works. And certainly in this context, uh, um, he, he uses wives to, to, to do this. But I, I think the, the concept, though, is bigger and broader than that in the sense the application is broader in the sense that just by way of influence, we need to remember that the way that I am, the type of Christian I am, my relationship with God is going to have some influence on Kylie. And the same with her and me. And there's great responsibility in that. But for those of you who find yourselves in a situation where your spouse isn't what they ought to be, don't give up. Don't stop praying. And you be what you ought to be. Let's pray together. Father in heaven, Father, thank you again for the wisdom that is found in your word. Father, we ask you to bless our marriages, Father. Help our children to see God, to see you and your love through our marriages, Father. Bless us this day with opportunities to do good. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.